Hello, my name is Jessica, and today I've had enough of this. I'm just, I'm done. I'm tired. I'm tired. We're going to be discussing why you should go watch B Stars. I don't know why I have to even make a video about it. Why people gotta be all up in everybody's coochie, but I do. So let's get it started. I'm gonna just point this out real quick. Does watching. Oh, y'all can't see it, but. Does watching B Stars make you a furry? No! The fuck? If you're going into an anime with. Is it gonna make you this? Do you watch motherfucking Parasite and be like, oh, is watching this gonna make me a parasite? No, bitch. Is watching, is reading fucking Killing Stalking gonna make you a fucking psychopath? No, bitch. So how's this gonna make you furry? It's not. Period. So y'all need to stop. It's just not. And it's not even about, the whole anime ain't even being about a furry. Also, y'all mad when an anime comes out with, a fucking what's I'm gonna call it? Hold up, I saw the word for it. I saw the word for it. Fucking um, animal based like people. I don't know what it's called, but y'all mad when an anime, this anime specifically, this good ass anime comes out with it. But then again, y'all go watch BoJack Horseman. Y'all go watch Adventure Time. Y'all go watch fucking all these other fucking cartoons and all this other shit, and y'all not mad. Y'all not pressed. What's the situation with that, though? All of a sudden. And it's crazy because people in the anime king community and people out of it are like, so you're furry now. No, bitch. Don't even correlate those two things, for one. Ever. Ever. And if you don't get the fucking... If you don't get the storyline of um, Beastars read it it's on fucking it's everywhere bitch it's so easy i wish someone would make a video and be like this is what b star is about we're not fucking furries we're not this and i guess i gotta do it i guess i gotta do it that's crazy people just can't click it up in their head that it's not it's not even whatsoever a furry thing there might be people out there that are furries that enjoy watching it but that does not mean collectively everyone that watches it is a furry or is into furry that community. So let's just get that out of there. That's crazy. That's crazy. And people that don't even watch anime, you have no opinion. I'm just saying. What? What have you seen? One Piece? Motherfucking Naruto, bitch. They're good animes, but you don't have an opinion if you haven't watched an anime or you watch like one who are you to say anything about this topic say what you want to say but it's irrelevant it's irrelevant period so the plot now getting into it about b stars let's look it up since people don't know what's the motherfucking situation b stars plot let's go because i already know it do you did you look into it or are you just assuming? Are you just pointing fingers? Are you just saying this? Let's get straight. The story takes place in a world of modern civilized, oh, anthropomorphic. I'm gonna spell it. A-N-T-H-R-O-P-O-M-O-R-P-H-I-C. I'll put the word right here. Um, animal, anthrop, I can't say it. Um, animal, okay. The story takes place in a world of modernized, civilized, anthropoporic animals with a cultural divide between the carnivores and herbivores. The series takes its name from the in-universe rank of Beastar as individual of great talent, serve, and notoriety. So the name of the anime Beastar is this thing in their society that if you get the label Beastar, you're going to be like the best best like animal in the animal kingdom pretty much and the person that's I, this is not necessarily spoilers because it's like how it it kind of is like the animal kingdom is kind of how it is somewhat but now it's mixed um for 
B stars. So at the top for the the person that is B stars right now, or you could say like the mayor, the president, or whatever, but they call it B star, is this lion. So it's a it's an a lion's a carnivore. Yeah, I knew that. Um, so that's that's at the rank. And this one, one of the main uh fucking characters, Luis, Luis, whatever that fucking deer, this bitch. I love him. I do um he's aiming to be that and he's a very popular person amongst the their high school i don't know the high school name but the high school that uh luis and fucking oh what's his name oh my gosh my brain fart is just going crazy uh hello legacy um what was his name he's okay so a fucking Lego C, he's a shy wolf, and he's not, like, the regular wolf that would be, like, Rawr, you know, bitch, like, don't come for me that. Don't come for me for that. He's not, like, the predator. He's the opposite of the wolf. He's not the boy who cried wolf. He's not, like, uh, the little red riding hood wolf. He's nothing like that. He's complete opposite to what the wolves are normally viewed as. So there's a lot of stereotypes, like, still, like, like, there is in the real world, there is in their world for animals and stuff. So, fucking, Luis, he don't like him because he's like, bitch, you acting all shy, but we know damn well you're trying to eat one of us. Period. And Le- and Legacy's like, nah, fam, I'm kind of just straight chilling. But there's also this thing where it's like their hormones, like their inner, their wolf, their, their, they can't help the human, the human, the animal nature of, like, wanting to prey on fucking animal other animals animals lower than them and look that's why um lewis is like mm, you line like a motherfucker and like she's like nah but he gets moments when he's like i want to i want to eat a motherfucking rabbit and that's the other main character um how do how do how do he fuck if i know she's cool i i fuck with her um she's the white rabbit and she's outcasted from like the rabbit like the rabbit girls they don't like her they bully her because they think she's a slut and shit because she she's she's different she's she's a dwarf uh rabbit and or bunny whatever you want to fucking call it pretty sure it's a rabbit and she has this garden all to herself nobody want to be friends with her the only person that's friends with her well actually i think that's a spoiler so i ain't gonna say but she's friends with one of the main uh fucking characters and so they go about her day and then oh the main thing is someone died in the beginning in the beginning of the fucking story this it was this lamb i forgot his name i'll repeat them homie though i think it what's his name shit fine up tim he died he gone <laughs> he died and um they were saying like he got preyed on and someone in the school is like the predator and whatnot and there's a whole bunch of, like, other, like, such shit that goes on because they're animals. And it's, like, you can't help your animal nature to maybe eat someone. And someone did. So, that's what happened. He got eaten up. And Lewis is, like, oh, not Lewis. Uh, Legacy's, like, damn, that was the homie, though. And then one of these nights, he accidentally almost attacks the rabbit, that dwarf rabbit, Haru. And she's, like, the fuck? And they don't see each other's faces. Keep that in mind. So, that happens, and he's like, I need to chill, because that's not me, I do not want to ever be like that, and, um, everyone's like, no one knows about this, and then they later meet up, and they, he's like, he's pursuing the rabbit, and then he falls in love with the rabbit, and then there's other shit in between, so that's pretty much the basics, damn, I talk too long, I'll try to edit that, but anyway, I cannot, I cannot, explain shit for the life of me so please don't come for me y'all can read the damn description or you can watch at least one episode the first episode it just gives you the basis and if anything go on youtube and just watch um an explanation of it pretty sure there's one out there if there isn't i guess mine will do i mean shit, i'm putting this out there so that's how it goes and i don't get why people don't get that it's literally just think of them as people and if you really can't like get with the show it's not i understand it's not for everyone but don't say like oh that's what that's the furries watch and some people even think it's bad and i mean y'all have your opinion but i think it's pretty good for an 
anamorphic or whatever anth- whatever the fuck that word show because i've never watched one besides the cartoons like fucking bojack horseman fucking all that shit like you know i've never watched it besides that and all those cartoons like a list of cartoons that have animals and people in it so uh but in b stars there's no people at least that i know of yet there's only animals it's just animals focused mainly on that and so yeah so i don't get why people having a problem not furries period and you should go watch it i'm definitely not the person to come forward for an explanation as you can tell but you should definitely go check it out do some research do some damn fucking research whether you're into anime or not don't go into this anime if you're if you're researching it being like it's a furry anime or else you're not nothing's gonna get in there and don't go into the anime thinking that either if you're gonna be like because then you're gonna have a whole different opinion and you want it to be i mean y'all do you i was gonna say you want it to be genuine but y'all do you y'all have your opinions we all to each their own but it's not a fucking furry fucking anime we're not the people who watch it aren't fucking furries some of them may be but the whole community for Beastars isn't. I think that's all I gotta say. And this person, I saw this TikTok. Um, I'm gonna screen record this TikTok. Shut the fuck up. Um, I'm gonna screen record this TikTok and put it in here because I think it made some good points. And I might put some uh, screen record of the comments that were in here. Uh, hopefully, this person gets back to me and says I can upload it. If anything, I'll put upload it. And if she doesn't want it, then I'll take it out. And I'll redo this whole editing thing. But... I think it's a really good video to get out there and I'm surprised it doesn't have more views and this doesn't this topic as a whole doesn't have more things. I don't get why people make it about it. I know people wanna make fun and shit like that, but <laughs> let us enjoy the damn anime because it's pretty good. Like, at least in my opinion. I think it's it's muy bueno. But everyone has their uh opinions and critiquing on animes and this is a different anime since it has animals and stuff and they can talk and they can do stuff. Wow, who would have known? Wow. People are just so crazy. So wild. Um, but before we go, um <clears throat> this person commented, I watched a bit of it and I felt very uncomfortable. Um, no these characters were humanoid animals in high school. It's not bad, but like it's uncomfortable. And I can see why it would make that and that is a valid reason to dislike it though. And I respect that you actually tried to watch it and decided not to cuz it's I don't think it's there are disclaimer. It's not a furry thing. I just don't know. But this the creator said and decided not to because it's furry porn, but it's not fucking furry porn. There are so sexual scenes between the animals so i can get those those parts i was laughing my ass off my my ass off because it's cringy like those parts are cringy and it's it's just i think it's a different experience because it's like you this is not possible in the human world animals cannot just go mating with animals that they normally wouldn't mate with they mate within their circle and so for the character lego c to want to um pursue a rabbit that isn't at all something he would most likely eat in the fucking like regular life but now that their lives are different and stuff because it used to be like you eat what's below you and all that um it's interesting because he has feelings for her and he's like no i would never you know and shit like that so that's why i'm like girl crazy but i don't i mean i don't know if there was a disclaimer for the anime if it's like classified um like if there's like a warning like love like okay if you watch an anime like fucking you're on ice maybe there's like boys love or something i don't know if they had that as like one of the things but uh i don't think so let's see i don't think it some people may classify it but like just don't don't go into it thinking oh my god it's very oh my god it's very important because it's not there's there's only like i think three scenes where it's like animals being weird you know doing maybe like being flirty or doing something or going to do something but other than that you can just fucking skip it bro it doesn't those parts don't have a main 
thing to the story except like one part which is like reveals a relationship between one of the main characters i might be spoiling but y'all came into this doing what you gotta do which is to learn and to listen um so yeah but i don't think it's furry shit just don't be weird and think of it as a furry thing or do it just don't watch it because we didn't watch y'all watch it <laughs> you're gonna think it's that each their own no to each their own mm, yeah so watch it don't watch it do whatever the fuck you want but it's not a furry thing and no i'm not a fucking furry thank you goodbye <laughs>